The Slatteries are a heartbroken family. They just lost their matriarch. She was just, she's irreplaceable. She was wonderful. And um, she loved us all very much and we all loved her. Police say Laura Slattery died in a boating accident Sunday night. She was 63. We all just, I think, talked to her earlier that day and um, just, just couldn't believe that, that, you know, that it had happened. The, um, just, yeah, just devastation. I'm 25. I gotta live the rest of my life without a mom now. And the person that did it left. We don't know who it was. Around 10 Sunday night, Laura and her husband were on their boat on the Magathy River when police say another boat hit them from behind, then sped off without stopping. Now investigators are trying to find the driver. And they did get a tip that it may have been a white center console vessel. But again, it was dark at night, so we want to consider all options. We're not ruling anything out. So if anybody's seen anything that looks suspicious or you've seen a vessel in that area, Again, just feel free, even if it's not a white center console vessel, please message us. Laura's husband wasn't injured and family members say another boating family helped them get back to the shore after the accident. But Laura passed away from her injuries. Her children say the world has lost an incredibly special mom, grandma and wife. She was a wild lady. <laughs> she was still dancing on tabletops well past the age that that usually happened. But she had friends everywhere she went. She was very outgoing. Everybody she met, she was just pure joy. And that you can't say that about a lot of people. Natural Resources Police and the family are asking anyone who might have seen something to speak up. If anybody, you know, and knows something to please come forward to bring our family some closure. It would really help a lot. It won't change anything, but it will help. Anyone who does have information should contact the Natural Resources Police. That number is 410-260-8888. In Anne Arundel County, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.